Hi, this is our saying today. I would like to share the proof of the, the derivative of inverse trigonometric function. We know that the derivative of inverse sine function is equal to 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared. To prove this, we let y equal to inverse x. So it means that sine y is equal to x. Okay, we have to bear in mind that y is a function of x. So it means that when we differentiate this one, we have to differentiate in the plane. Okay, when we differentiate sine, we have cos. Then we differentiate y is equal to dy dx. We differentiate x is equal to 1. So it means that the de derivative is equal to 1 over cos y. Okay, up to this point, to change y in terms of x, then we have to apply the Pythagoras theorem. So according to this equation, sine y equal to x, which is actually x over 1. Okay, so the angle is y, and then we have to bear in mind that sine is actually hypotenuse over the opposite. So it means that hypotenuse here is 1, and then opposite is x. So it means that to find the adjacent is actually hypo square root of hypotenuse square minus the opposite square. So we have square root of 1 minus x square. Then for cos, okay, cos y is equal to the adjacent. Over the hypotenuse, so 1. Okay, so 1 over cos means that the reciprocal of this one. So we have 1 over square of 1 minus x squared. Okay, and then we have this. Okay, then we go to the inverse of cos. Okay, also we let y equal to inverse cos x then cos y equal to x so when we differentiate cos we have negative sine y then differentiate y equal to dy dx differentiate x is 1 so it means that dy dx is equal to negative 1 over sine y then we use the Pythagoras theorem Cos y equal to x over 1. So, hypotenuse is 1. Then the adjacent is x. So, here is 1 minus x squared. Okay. Then for, the, for this one is sine y. So, sine y equal to square root of 1 minus x squared over 1. Then the reciprocal, then we have negative 1 over square root of x, 1 minus x squared. Okay, then we go to inverse tangent. For tangent, also we let y equal to inverse tangent x. So it means that tangent y equal to x. Okay, we know that when we differentiate tangent, we have secant squared. Then differentiate y, dy, dx. Differentiate x is 1. So it means that dy, dx is equal to 1 over secant square y. And then we know that secant is actually 1 over cos. So we have cos square y. Okay, then we apply the Pythagoras theorem. Okay, tangent y is equal to x over 1. Tangent is opposite over adjacent. So opposite is x, adjacent is, is 1. So the hypotenuse here is 1 plus x squared or 1 squared plus x squared. 
Okay, then we take the square root. Okay, so for this one, we have cos square y. Okay, for cos is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So we have adjacent over the hypotenuse, 1 plus x squared. Then because we have square here, so the whole thing square. And this one gives us 1 over 1 plus x squared, which is equal to this one. Okay, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Hope you like it. See you.